Bitter leaf is a medicinal herb that is commonly found in Nigeria and countries such as Ghana, Cameroon, and Togo. It, cons it contains medicinal properties, that is why it is commonly used by human beings for its antioxidant and therapeutic properties. Having these properties make it possible for it to be used for our poultry birds. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to look into five benefits of feeding bitter leaf to our chickens and also I'm going to check, go through how to prepare this bitter leaf so that you can feed to our chicken. First benefit of feeding bitter leaf to our chickens is that it can be used to treat diarrhea and other bacterial diseases. Bitter leaf contains phytogenic properties and that is why it, is, it can be used to treat bacterial diseases such as the E. coli, salmonellosis and it can be used also to treat gastro infection and disorders. Also it can be used to prevent and treat diseases such as the bulbar foot disease. The second benefit of feeding bitter leaf to our chickens is that it can be used to deworm our birds. This bitter leaf contains bioactive compounds that are very effective against internal parasites that are found in chickens. And having these properties, it can be put in drinking water and when the bird drink the water with the bitter leaf, they will become dewormed and you know the worms will be killed because this worm actually competes with the birds for feeds and nutrients. That's why birds which contain worms will not grow very fast and will not be very productive. Therefore, the worm in our chickens should be very paramount or should be our target as poultry farmers. And we should deworm at least after every two weeks, we should be able to deworm the chickens. Or in case you see worms in the chicken poop, you should deworm your chickens. The third benefit of deworming, of feeding bitter leaf to our chickens is that it treats coccidiosis. Coccidiosis is a very deadly disease that is that affects the enteritic part of the chicken body, that is the intestines. It erodes the mucosa of the intestines. And this disease is characterized by a watery and a bloody diarrhea and it causes depression and weight gain loss and this you know this plant can be used to treat this disease because because it's much more safer and it's cheaper and is more effective than some of the inorganic and coccidial drugs the fourth benefit of feeding bitter leaf to a chicken is that it treats Newcastle disease. Newcastle disease is an acute viral disease that is capable of causing drastic mortality in our chickens. There is no known treatment for Newcastle disease and that is why most, you know, most veterinary officers usually use antibiotics to manage this disease and it has been shown to cure but using bitter leaf it's much more effective because it is a natural remedy and our chickens will be cured. The final benefit or the fifth benefit of feeding bitter leaf to our chickens is that it serves as a growth promoter. Poultry farmers have been using growth promoters which are organic or which are inorganic. Therefore, if poultry farmers can, you know, can start using inorganic properties, Oh, pardon, organic properties such as bitter leaf or chickens can grow in a natural way without using the chemicals. This bitter leaf improves the health status and growth performance of the birds and when it is fed to birds, it improves the feed conversion ratio and improves the growth performance of the chickens. Also, the chickens have a better carcass weight and a dressing percentage after use rotor. So, you should feed our chickens with this bitter leaf so that we can achieve that, especially for the broader chickens. So, how do you prepare this leaf, bitter leaf, so that we can feed our chickens? First, we are going to look on how we can mix this with the feeds and later how we can mix with the 
drinking water. First of all, for the feeds, you harvest the fresh leaves and then you crush them. But, but before you crush, you have to air dry, but don't directly dry the sun because that will denature some of the compounds that are contains that are contained in the bitter leaf. So after you harvest and then now you air dry and that way the, that step is the grind. You can grind using a pest, the mortar and pestle or you can grind mechanically until you have the powder form. Now this powder form you can store it so that for future use. Now I'm going to show you how to prepare now the aqueous or the bitter leaf that you're going to put in drinking water. First you have to harvest the mature leaves from the plant and then you, you, know, you harvest according to the amount that you're going to use and then you're going to rinse the leaves so that you can clean them and then put them in a bowl and then you can just lap them with your hands or you can use a brand so that you can crush the leaves and then you're going to extract the juice. The other thing after you the, you blend the bitter leaf is that you, you, you have to strain so that you can remove the solid part of the of the bitter leaf and you know, they have the juice now remains as pure and without any debris and this juice you should be able to preserve it, it in, a and in a refrigerator or in a cool dry place and so now we have prepared for the leaf meal and now we have the aqueous solution that we can either give through feed or through drinking water. So what amount or what dosage should we give this to our chickens? For the feeds, we are supposed to add around 100 grams of the bitter leaf meal for every 100 kilograms of feed. That is 1 gram for every 1 kilogram of feeds. And for the drinking water, have to add 50 millimeters for every one liter of water 50 millimeters of the bitter leaf juice with one liter of water and ensure for both feeds and the and the water ensure that you mix it very well so that you can mix that because so that you can have an equal distribution of these nutrients that are contained in the bitter leaf and i hope that that will help you in a great way because it is natural and without any kind of drugs and if you like to learn more about organic poultry farming click on the screen right now so that you can get all the videos that we have made about organic poultry farming and believe these videos will help you